Actor Antonio Sabato Jr. says Hollywood blacklisted him for supporting Donald Trump. So he's launching a conservative movie studio to combat it. He also has a dramatic new memoir out. The memoir is Sabato, The Untold Story. What is The Untold Story, actor? Antonio, tell us. The Untold Story is many stories. This book is just uh, a story to read, many stories in a story of my life and what my family and I have been through. And uh, I think it's fascinating now that I have the book done and people can see all kinds of fun uh, things that happened to me and hardship that my family went through. And at the end of the day, Hopefully, it's going to help a lot of people get out of uh, bad places. You know, it's a positive story, you know. When you say you were blacklisted, in, w in yeah. what way? In every way, you know, when they don't want you around. They don't want to have anything to do with you. You know, these are casting directors, agents, managers in Hollywood. And, you know, I was the first celebrity to come out, Larry, and just support my president, support Trump from day one. And when I spoke at the RNC, you know, after the next 24 hours, Larry, I was... I was dropped by my agents, by my manager. I had jobs and things that I was going to do that year, and I lost everything. I had to relocate. You know, kept you know kept uh, kept going. You know, one way or another, and being uh, have support system and my family and stuff. But I, I I went through a lot, and it's all in the book. You know, uh, I take care of my family and my kids. You know, that's first and foremost. So when uh, they took the jobs away from me, I had to really start a new life. You had major roles in. Uh... General Hospital, the bold and the beautiful. <clears throat> Did they take it away from you? Well, I had I had jobs and all kinds of stuff. I had a fortune. Uh, you know, my my career has been thirty five years of a lot of awesome stuff. I played my game, but I also played under my rules. I didn't follow anything that Hollywood kind of just pushes you to do. You got to do certain things. I did it in my own way, and that's what you're going to see in the book. A lot of great stories with a lot of great people all over the world and um you know I, I think it's uh, something that people should read i hope they read it and i hope the, i hope they like it well, i'm anxious to read it tell me what Thank about you. this conservative movie studio yeah i've been working really hard for three months me and my team our production team about starting a new studio that is uh it's an alternative studio you know it's it's it's, it's a studio that's going to support our police officers going to support our flag our military our country um and conservative actors and people in the industry that uh, you know way out because you know you, I can't wear my, my 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 Christian cross, Larry, to a casting office in L.A. You know, what I mean, I'll tell them to take it off. I can't talk about God. I can't talk about my support for this president, or wear a MAGA hat, or wear a, a hat with a flag on it. I'll be called all kinds of names. It's ridiculous. You know, I I don't consider myself racist. Never have been. But they they call people and uh, they start things, and the media jumps on it. It's just. Uh, that's why I think this book is really, uh, you know, it relates to what's going on. And, uh, you know, we, we need positive out there. We need to work together. We need to support our country and make sure that uh, we move forward in a positive way, you know. And, uh, and everybody deserves a chance to speak, you know. Sure. You've also got a movie called Trailblazers. How, how's that coming along? Larry, yeah, it's been really hard. You know, a lot of distribution companies, a lot of people in Hollywood don't want to work with me. Uh, without even having never met me or anything like that, it's just they 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 just put it on. Uh, you know, he's a Trump supporter. Forget it. He'll never work with us. So uh, it's been really hard trying to raise money. You know, I need to raise six million dollars for this picture for Trailblazers. It's going to open up the studio. But uh, God is good. I'm very uh, I'm very optimistic, and I hope for the best. And uh, we're going to make it happen. I have a great cast. The movie's ready to go. So we'll find the money. I'm, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Variety quoted you back in March as saying Donald Trump is doing fantastic. I think he'll be reelected by 100 million votes. You don't, do you yeah. still feel that way? 100 percent, 100 percent. There's there's right and there's wrong. And right now, you know, for people that don't know, you should, should just study about what's going on in our country in, our, in the political world, because uh, as much as people don't like Trump, if they don't, is because the media has been pushing this narrative uh, of negativity and all this false about the guy, but uh, at the end of the day, you got to look at the facts. Is the country economically doing better? Yes. Have we been through a lot? Yes. Is our military still number one? Yes. Is our dollar still good? Yes. Is our taxes low? Yes. Are we protected as a country? Are we are we taking advantage of the situation and moving forward together? You know, as a country. And I think this president has led the right way, and uh, the opposition is very much a socialist. 
uh, you know, group of people that uh, I don't support. I don't support socialism. I don't, I don't support communism. And, uh, and it's in the book too, Larry. People will read stories about what my family went through. My grandmother had to go through what we went through as a family because of socialism. We don't want it here at all. You don't, you don't think Joe Biden is a socialist, do you? A hundred percent. Well, you know, I don't think, well, Joe Biden is being controlled. I think there's other people in his party are controlling him to say and do. I don't think he's uh, legit. I don't think he's healthy. I don't think he's right to be the next president of the United States for, I mean, these are just uh, his age and what I've seen and what everybody has seen. I mean, we're concerned. Well, you admit, Antonio, that this administration was late in dealing with the coronavirus. Well, I disagree, I disagree because I think he was first. I mean, remember, people wanting, people at the beginning said, don't close the market, don't close the market, don't close flights, don't close any, don't close anything related to coming into this country. They're all against it. He did it anyway. He did the best he could. He did a lot for New York. He did, he stood up there and, and answered every question. He brought a team of, of medical professionals on board. Uh, he, he, uh, he gave money to every state, whatever they needed, they could ask for. It was up to the state. I mean, what else do you need the guy to do? So I, I think he did more than enough, and I, I supported everything he did. But the other party's against him. Whatever the guy does, the media is against the man. He can't do anything successful. You know, you, you watch these press conferences, and the media cannot be supportive about anything that this guy does, you know? So at the end of the day, he's got to be right about something. Great having you with us, Antonio. Always good seeing you. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you. Thank you.